welcome back to KP's Kingdom, cooking with KP and today I'm going to show you how to make this amazing palak paneer. It's a beautiful spinach and cheese curry, one of my favourites of all time and really easy to do. Okay, let's get on with it. First thing I've got, got a fry pan, a little bit of oil can go into that and I've already cut up my paneer which is a Indian cottage cheese. It's quite firm and it grills up quite nicely. We're just going to put these into the fry pan, get a bit of colour on them give them a little bit of a, a toast for a better word and very very simple if you don't know where to get uh, paneer cheese you can get it at some Indian uh, suppliers you can actually now find it in your supermarket right I'm going to get it brown on one side give them a flip over on the other side and if you haven't tried paneer before it is oh, a beautiful flavor it's actually a cottage cheese believe it or not okay once they're done put those aside in another bowl a little bit more oil i've got one very finely diced onion that's going in just like that and we want to get these cooked off a, a little bit we want to get them softened for a better word so just keep uh, stirring those around in your saucepan or in this case i'm using the wok because it's nice and large all right i'm going to add in one teaspoon a heap teaspoon of ground cumin and same again of garam masala use the garam masala of your choice this is a real cheats way to do this particular dish normally you would use a whole heap of different ingredients i'm simplifying it i don't want to go out and uh, make you have to go and find weird ingredients one chopped tomato fresh straight in just like that and keep stirring that around as you also saw i toasted all those uh, little spices off it brings out the flavor, brings out the oils. A little bit of pepper, a little bit of black pepper can go straight in. It's gonna give us a little bit of heat and salt to taste. You could add a chili in if you want to as well. I'm keeping this one nice and mild. Here's my spin on things. A good tablespoon of tomato ketchup or tomato sauce adds a sweetness and gives it a little bit more liquid. I've got three bunches of English spinach, which I've just plucked off the stalks and in some cases torn those leaves in half we don't want to go to too much trouble with this and as I said I've done a lot of prep in advance to save you watching me cut things up so I'm just going to wilt that down a little bit of water about maybe a quarter of a cup that can go straight in as well and that's going to help this spinach cook down just a little bit quicker and a little bit easier now as this wilts down I'm going to add in more handfuls of spinach I'm going to also add in a little bit of garlic paste around about a teaspoon's worth that's going to go in so it's going to be around about a clove and a half of fresh garlic and around about the same again of some ginger paste just want a little bit of that and gives it just that nice little like gingery type undertone so as you can see that's wilted down just keep plonking more of that spinach leaf on top and as it wilts down just keep loading it up just keeps things uh, cooking a little bit quicker once that's all wilted down good little splash of cream that can go in we'll stir that through and here's another real interesting one that uh, really gives you a real funky flavor the juice of one lemon gives it a little bit of a, uh, a tartness on top okay so just do that and we're almost ready to go i've taken a few spoonfuls of that spinach and the liquid put that into a little jug i'm going to use my immersion mixer or my stick mixer i'm just going to blend that through and it's going to make a nice thick green sauce and this is what's going to give this a uh, a real beautiful creamy texture to the whole meal okay so to give that a bit of a blitz right we've reduced some of that mixture down in goes our beautiful green slop sorry our green pureed spinach that goes straight in just make sure we get every last drop of that out give that a good stir and make sure you've got uh, your paneer ready that goes in all we need to do now is just get a bit of heat into that paneer the cheese and we're just about done get some rice ready and we can serve up and we're ready to eat okay thank you so much for watching this video really do appreciate it if you like this video hit that like button it gives me confidence it should make you feel warm and fuzzy too please share this video with all your friends on all platforms of social media i'm trying to get the name of capers kingdom out there hit that notification bell you'll be notified every time a new video goes up but if you want to learn how to make an Indian classic like this very very simply well you need to come and join the family my family hit that subscribe button and you'll never miss another one of my videos again all right I'm off to eat my palak paneer and I will catch you next time bye